Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show an automatic mud to clay converter machine. So there was a large contraption here, which is caused by the fact that the process of converting mud to clay is rather slow. Alright, so in the last snapshot, a mechanic was added that allows us to convert mud into clay. So you need mud on top of a block and pointed dripstone hanging below. So every time a random tick would select one of those pointed dripstone blocks here, there's a 17.2% chance that the mud is getting converted into clay. So on average it takes six and a half minutes to convert one block of mud into clay. So of course you can take advantage of this mechanic by making a manual setup. Just need to place down some blocks with pointed dripstone hanging below, place down all your mud, wait a little bit and then get the clay afterwards. But this machine here is a little bit more efficient than that. So the idea of this contraption here is that you would directly hook it up to a rooted dirt farm or you place some rooted or dirt manually. Alright, so I got a setup here with a command block that would place the dirt for me. Just gonna turn it on and then we can yeah, see what this machine does. Okay, so it works at one block every four ticks or 18,000 ticks per hour. Yeah, in this version, unfortunately, we have to turn off the no block sound because it's just way too annoying. There's not really a good way to... Yeah, turn off the sound because you have to place wool or carpet on top of which is not always possible anyway so what we do first is actually just split up the incoming block stream here's just a little contraption that turns the dirt into mud and then we split up yeah, the, the block stream into yeah, 16 different slices so the reason why we split up the uh, incoming block stream is to make it more lag friendly so technically you could have a contraption where you just have yeah, the line of blocks here being pushed over yeah, a setup where you have some blocks with pointed dripstone below. But of course this would be rather disadvantageous because um, most of the time the blocks are actually moving and at that time the blocks can't be converted. And also you would need to basically move all the blocks all the time. So by splitting up the block stream we're making it more lag efficient basically. Okay, so here's how we split up the block stream. So we got it incoming here really fast. And we got two pistons that would push up the mud blocks. So that makes it already a little bit slower and then it's quite easy to split it up further. So we got pistons that push in both ways. Um, here and at the top. So every time we reach the top here, getting yeah, split up further. So here we have four block streams, then they get all getting pushed over. Once they reach the end, they're getting pushed down. And yeah, once the mud has been pushed on all the way to the bottom, it gets pushed over. So we basically split it up into 16 block streams and they're all 12 blocks wide. So technically from one block into 192 block streams. All right, then here you can already see the first module where the mud is getting dried. Um, so that's now a question, how long do we want to keep it in there? So the longer we wait, um, the more mud will be converted into clay, but yeah, you will never reach 100%. So it takes an average six and a half minutes to convert the mud into clay. If you would wait around 20 minutes, then 95% of the mud have been converted into clay. And that was my goal for this machine. So we basically got you know, repeating modules here in between. So this is yeah, based on a system that was sh shown by Snow in July. So once the blocks are getting pushed um, under this uh, piston contraption here, um, they will get pushed further. So you can just add how many modules you want. So you could also yeah, extend this. Uh, at the speed we're putting the blocks in at the moment, it would take about 20 minutes until it goes through the whole system. But you could also just add more modules and yeah, make it take an hour or so, and then 99.5% of the blocks will be converted. Of course, it will cause a little bit more lag, but yeah, by splitting up the blocks this much, hardly any lag is caused. We can also check it out, log TPS. The moment we're sitting at three MSPT, most of this is probably caused by just the world running. We can also do a quick tick warp to get a rough estimate how much lag this is actually causing. It's not too much. So we can tick warp at yeah, 400 TPS run the game 20 times faster um, than usual. Okay, yeah, I can already see here the progress we're making. Uh, we should actually tick up a little bit more. 
can see here, here most of the mod is already being converted, but of course you still have some mod blocks in there. Once you reach the very end, then really 95% of the blocks are getting converted. And of course, if you would put in the blocks here at a lower speed, then it would also take the blocks longer to go through the whole system. And then more of the mud would be converted into clay. So I think last week or two weeks ago, I made a fully automatic rooted dirt farm. It produced 1500 dirt power. So if you would send all of this through the system here, then also probably 99.9% .9 of all the blocks would be converted. All right, so we're almost at the end. So the disadvantage of splitting up the blocks this much is that you also have to merge them again so you can conveniently put them into the TNT blast chamber. Okay, so that's why we have the system here at the end that would yeah, put them all back into a single block stream. Um, so the idea is, we should probably click up a little bit until we actually got blocks arriving. Instead we yeah, have alternating Piston conveyors here, they would push the blocks over. Um, so basically start with this one here, then blocks are being pushed down again. Then yeah, we launch it again, etc, etc. And here two of the streams are getting merged again. And here top and bottom are merged again and we get the single block stream output. I could have actually maybe already follow that. It's almost the stage where it would enter the TNT blast chamber here. Okay, just gonna tick warp. Oh, there we go. Yep. You got a nice and efficient um, TNT blast chamber. Uh, of course, the block stream has to be split up again to be nicely put into this shape. And then we got yeah, TNT blowing it up and yeah, we're getting the clay balls here. And as you can see, most of the blocks are really mud after they went through the whole system. Uh, sorry, our uh, clay after they went through the whole system. Only about 5% are still the mud blocks. Okay, but as I said, it would be quite easy to just make this machine longer here. So here you can see those modules. You can yeah, um, just add more in the middle and move the section here on the right a bit over uh, to make it even more efficient. Okay. Yeah, so there's a yeah, really nice machine. Unfortunately, we're getting clay balls here as output and not uh, clay blocks. Of course, you could also have a player um, maybe sitting here at the end just mining the clay blocks with silk touch and then you could automatically put them into a furnace array and turn them into terracotta, of course. But if you use TNT or wizard, then you would get the clay balls. Yeah, and looking at it from the top here, you can also nicely see the progress that is being made with the conversion. All right, then... When I showed the automatic mod farm the last time with the blast chamber, people pointed out they would like to see a system where you can switch between um, putting the dirt into the blast chamber or the mud. Uh, here we can also take it one step further. I'm just gonna turn this off real quick. So added switches that would allow you to put in the mud into the system directly. Just need to wait a little bit until yeah, the, the block merging system at the end stops. So this could take up to 40 seconds. Okay, now it stopped. I activated the switch, so if I turn this on, then we would put in the dirt directly into the TNT blast chamber. So this is an option, and I also added an option to put in um, the mud instead. Just have to turn it off again real quick. Then we can also activate this switch here. And now the mud is being pushed. Uh, sorry, we have to turn this off, of course. Go. And then the mud is being pushed towards the TNT blast chamber. Okay. I just added it. Uh, because people have shown an interest in seeing something like that. Okay, at the end I want to discuss two more ideas. So first I actually want to discuss uh, a batch process compared to this yeah, continuous process here. So the disadvantage of the continuous process is at the end we have blocks remaining in the machine that you don't easily have access to. Of course, you could go in there and mine them yourself if you would want to, um, but that's not really the point of an automatic machine. So the other option would be to make a more complicated uh, batch process based machine where every single last block would be cleared, probably with some complicated flying machines. Um, but I would argue if you had the stage where they yeah, seriously discuss making an automatic mud to clay conversion machine, um, yeah, putting in like 6,000 dirt blocks at the beginning, 
uh, should definitely be worth it because you probably want to use this to make a lot more. Um, so yeah, probably not worth it to go in and mine those blocks yourself. Just put in more at the end. All right, then one more thing uh, I thought would be maybe nice instead of making this machine longer and longer to reach higher efficiency, if at the end you would just sort out the mud blocks from the clay and put them through a separate system again, and then merge both streams again to reach like the 99.99% uh, conversion rate. Um, this would definitely be possible. One challenge that I don't have really a solution for, I just want to discuss this real quick, haven't really thought about it yet. You would need to sort out the mud block from the clay. I think the only real difference is that you would sink in with the clay a little bit. You would maybe have an armor stand or something like that. Uh, that would be detected if it would sink in and then sort out the blocks this way and then, yeah. Could make a machine like that. Um, but it's only something I'm going to do in the Let's Play series at some point. There's always ways to improve machinery, but there's only so much time we have. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.